Hello, my name is Tony Pike and I am the founder of CAT3C. CAT3C is designed to provide supplemental training as you work your way through your ATPL studies. To help you achieve your goal of becoming a professional pilot, CAT3C have developed an invaluable series of unique EASA ATPL exam passbooks, which have been specifically designed for the iPad and are available in the Apple iBook store. The passbooks contain hundreds of exam style questions and are supported by clear in-depth explanations and interactive diagrams. The link to the iBooks can be found on the web page below or at the CAT3C website at the Bookstore tab. Additionally, we currently deliver three-day classroom-based general navigation courses and will also be providing future interactive online training sessions plus a range of pre-recorded video seminars. More information on our online sessions and our three-day UK-based classroom training courses can be found at our website www.cat3c.com But for now, sit back and enjoy this QEV. At north 54 degrees, west 20 degrees, the sun rises on the 28th of November at 0901 UTC. At north 44, west 20, the sun will rise at which time? A. Later, since the latter position lies further to the south. B. Earlier, since the latter position lies further to the south. C. Also at 0901 UTC, as both positions are situated on the same meridian. Or D. At 0741 local mean time. All sunrise and sunset times are normally recorded in local time. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to convert 0901 UTC into local time using a drawing of the earth viewed from above and this is the Greenwich Meridian which is my point of reference for UTC. I've been told that at 20 west, which is 20 degrees to the west, from the Greenwich Meridian, the time of sunrise is 0901 UTC. Remembering that UTC is always based on the Greenwich Meridian, I can use this information to calculate the local time of sunrise at West 20. To do this, I take the number of degrees and multiply it by four minutes. That's equal to one degree per four minutes. 20 times four is 80 minutes, which is equal to one hour and 20 minutes. Being to the west and remembering that the earth rotates in an easterly direction, the local time at west 20 will be less than the local time at Greenwich. The local time at Greenwich is equal to UTC at Greenwich. So what I have to do to calculate the local time at West 20 is subtract 1 hour and 20 minutes from 0901. So that's 1, 20, which gives me 0741 local mean time. So that's the time of sunrise at north 54 degrees west 20. However, the question's asking us the time of sunrise at north 44 degrees, which is 10 degrees further to the south. In order to do that, I'm going to draw a simple diagram which may assist you. What we need to do is to draw a side view of the Earth. Remembering that the Earth is tilted at an angle of approximately 23 and a half degrees, to the ecliptic, which is the path of the Earth around the Sun. In the winter months, 28th of November being the Northern Hemisphere winter, the North Pole is tilted away from the Sun, which will place the Sun on this side of the Earth. These lines represent the Sun's rays. Now, if I take a line and draw it perpendicular down to the center of the Earth, 
we can see that this side of the Earth is receiving the sun's rays and therefore is in daytime, whereas this side of the Earth is not receiving the sun's rays and is, as such is in nighttime. What I'm now going to do, I'm going to plot on the two latitudes, north 54 and north 44, approximately. They don't need to be 100% accurate, a rough approximation will do. So north 54 is about there, and north 44 will be further to the south of it, approximately there. We know that the time of sunrise from our previous calculation at north 54 is 0741 local mean time. Now looking at these two lines, we can see that the length of daytime at north 54, when compared with the length of daytime at north 44, is considerably shorter, meaning that the length of daytime at north 44 is longer than at north 54. If you have a longer day, you have an earlier sunrise and a later sunset. Therefore, the time of sunrise at North 44 must be earlier than 0741 local mean time. Referring to the answers, we can see that the only option that satisfies this is earlier since the latter position lies further to the south.